Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is the top 10 anime from Funimation Entertainment. This list is based on ranking as well as popular votes among the anime released from Funimation Entertainment. Number 10, Psychopaths. Although this is ranked 10, I've actually not seen the series. After reading the summary, I'm definitely going to watch the series soon. Number 9, Noragami. Fairly surprising that this is ranked so high amongst Funimation, purely because it's somewhat new compared to all the other high ranks in this list. Definitely worth the watch though. Number 8, Soul Eater. This series contains 51 episodes with high approval rating from its viewers. If you like comedy, shonen, and adventure, you'll probably like this anime. Number 7, Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale has always been my number one anime ever since I found it. I can't stress enough how awesome Fairy Tale is. Number 6, Tokyo Ghoul. This anime is also pretty new compared to other ranks in the list. If you like horror mixed with supernatural, this is right down your alley. Number 5, Mira Nikki. Although the genre isn't considered horror, it wouldn't be a far stretch to say that it is. I was constantly on edge while watching this series, and if you like Tokyo Ghoul, then you might like this one as well. Number 4, Steins Gate. If you like the thought of time travel, or like getting mind fucked, then give this a watch. Number 3, Code Geass. I believe everyone should watch this series at least once in their anime love and life. I consider this one one of the classics that should be known by everyone. Number 2, Full Metal Alchemist. Another badass series with badass popularity amongst its viewers. Seriously, give this a watch now if you haven't already. This includes both versions. Number 1, Shingeki no Kyojin. Better known as Attack on Titans, the human race has to fight man-eating titans in a somewhat steampunk era. What's not to like about it? We finally reached the end of the list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.